Here's your Cairo. I'm here today with Mr. Leo. How are you, sir? Okay. All right. And um, I know uh, I know sometimes it's tough with the body, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Leo sought me out for care. He's a, he's a very loving man, very good man, but he's been in quite a bit of pain and my heart really reaches out to him. Um, Leo has what you call ankylosing spondylitis and it's a condition where the spine starts to fuse together. And um, it's very difficult because, and correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but uh, it, it many times it seems like it kind of comes out of nowhere mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're not able to stand up as much, right? right. Yeah. Um, so it's very difficult and we've taken films and we've analyzed and it requires quite a bit of care and so what we do with Leo, um, we're now a couple weeks into his care and he's got a crazy uh, schedule, he's a busy businessman, but we're utilizing the arthrostim, the activator, we're doing what's called mirror image adjusting, I'm having Dr. Michael, uh, my teammate, help me out and, um, and you're going to see some cool things because we're adjusting him really to input information to his brain and then once we've done all of the mirror image type work, we're going to try to get a couple of traditional chiropractic adjustments very gently. Um, so Dr. Michael, come on over, sir. And um, what we're going to do, so you go ahead and push his shoulders back like so and gently. There we go. So what we're going to do with Mr. Leo here is we're holding his shoulders back and bringing his head over his shoulders. Are we okay, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're utilizing the arthro stem in his upper back to create proprioception, which is a very fancy way of saying input to the brain. And he's a tough guy because I'm pulling fairly hard on his chin in order to get his head back over his shoulders. And it is not an instant fix, but over time we're going to see a transformation. And um, we're going to beat this degeneration and arthritis because it's no fun and it's very limiting. Um, shoulders relax, sir. Now, what we're going to do here is, you have the activator, Doc? <coughs> we're going to do a little bit here, then we'll, we'll get to the table. Um, so what I'm going to do is have that on the lowest setting, Leo. It's about right here. feels like that. Doc, you're going to take that and I'm going to hold Leo. We're going to go chest up first and we're going to go right under the earlobe. When I say, not quite yet, we're going to go this way, sir, and we're going to pull the head back over the shoulder. There's a lot of pressure there in his upper back. Go ahead, Doc. <clears throat> yeah. mm. and, and we want a lot of input into this area. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm. Okay, let's give it a rest mm. for a sec. You alright, bud? We're going to come on to the other side, Doc. You okay, Leo? Yeah. Okay. And when I say, not quite yet, and go ahead, go ahead, beautiful, beautiful. So the atlas area, the C1 vertebrae, has in a very high number of proprioceptors where Dr. Michael was utilizing that. and. That's telling his brain little by little that we need to get the head back over the shoulders. Come on up, big guy. And uh, we're going to go against the wall now. So we're going to come over to this wall here. And uh, we're back to the wall here. <coughs> like this? Doc, yeah, this way, all the way around. Dr. Michael, you're going to get the arthrist in this time, feet all the way back to the wall. And I'm going to hold his shoulders and his head back. And you're going to go into the hip. And we're going to go like this, sir. And when I say... Oh. Breathe through it and work with me. Okay, go, Doc. Oh. Go to the other side, Doc. You hanging in there, buddy? Yeah. Good stuff. And. Uh, I don't know if you could see Sab, but I was actually on my toes there to get a good angle. So we're going to go ahead, Doc. I'm up on my toes really to get his, again, head and neck oh. back over his shoulders. Let it go, Doc. Thank you. Hang in there, big guy. Okay, next, Doc, we're going to go back to the activator. And I'm going to hold 
going to go mainly for the head, and we're going to try to get the head back. And we're going to go activator under his atlas again. So you breathe, Leo. Move your finger. Yeah. And go. Uh. Okay, let's go other side. Almost done there, Leo. Hold, hang in there. So I'm using my arms. Yep. Go ahead. Using my arms, my body. Leo's being amazing right now. Mm. Okay, let it go. Beautiful. All right, torture done. <laughs> All right, now, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay face down on the table. So, we gotta work slowly. And we're gonna get to a point where we can do more. I want you to just breathe, Leo. Really do your best. If it's too much, tell me. I will stop, but in the meantime, just breathe. So I'm going in the plain line of his discs. Little by little, breaking up scar tissue, telling his brain that we want movement. It's going to be okay. You're such a trooper. God bless, man. Hips relax. All right, big guy. Now what we're gonna do is, um, let me see if I can get this up a little bit. Does that hurt when I yeah. hang it? Yeah, okay. Oh. So let's go ahead and have you um, stand back up. Nice and slow. I'm here to help if you need. Stand behind you for a second and hold the shoulders back. Oh. Hang in there. Oh. You good? Yeah. Turn this way. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold the shoulders back. <clears throat> now, we can do one of two things. I want you to tell me based on how you feel what you think would be better. <clears throat> one is we can go, and we've done both of these before. Mm -hmm. We can go with you on your seated here, leaning backwards and do a very gentle adjustment like so. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to hurt. Yeah. I know it will, but we can get a little bit of motion. Mm -hmm. The other option is we can do the standing one, but a little seated. more seated. Yeah. yeah, 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 too much. So let's go seated. Now, Dr. Michael, what I want you to do, lift the headrest up all the way. Put the feet this way, sir. Lay down? Yeah, so you don't lay down yet, but kick your feet up like you're going to lay down. Um, what I want you to do is just kind of be there to cradle his head and upper back if he needs it. Um, because it's when he goes down that the spinal joints stretch and it hurts. Mm -hmm. um, so what I need is those arms crossed in front of you to get our leverage. And don't, don't, don't go down yet, don't go down yet. Oh. Arms crossed in front of you here. <coughs> and uh, all the way like this, sir. And all the way. And just, yeah, you're kind of our backup uh, support there. And then we're going to come right down to oh. the rack of lumbar. And just breathe, oh. breathe, breathe. And really just do your best support. Oh. Mainly his neck. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. And... Oh. You okay, bud? Yeah. One more. Oh. Okay, back up, back up. Oh. So we're not oh. going to get a big cavitation just yet, but we I've worked with many, many cases like this, Leo. We have to just... every Think of it like this. Every adjustment, instead of getting a release, it's mm -hmm. just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And time after time after Eventually time, it it's going to just go. And you remember the first one we did standing? And it was yeah. like, oh, it yeah. moves. It'll move. It will. I'm just going slow. All right, please, brother? Please. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, thank you for sharing, brother. I appreciate it because there's a lot of people out there that need help. Um, in the meantime, if you have 10 minutes, I'll give you an ice pack to put over the neck just yeah. to chill for a few minutes. Yeah. No pun intended, right? Yeah. And then we'll get you out of here and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, sir.